Dash, and of course, dogs can get uh, COVID-19, so we have them amply protected. But also, I want to show you, uh, you guys, uh, this is where I study on uh, four days out of the week um, during these days. And you see, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what mountain that is in the background, but it comes to a point. And then you see those trees right there. They also come to a point. And uh, isn't that interesting? that they do that. So the mountains and the trees come to a point. You're probably wondering, why did you show us a picture of your dog, uh, mountains, um, trees? Uh, why did you do that? Because they all come to a point. Have you ever thought about everything that you see that is created by God all has its highest pinnacle? That reminds us that they too are pointing to, giving glory to, giving honor to the God that created them. Listen to what Psalm 148 verses 9, 10, and 13 says. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, beasts, dash, and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. So everything that God has made comes to its highest pinnacle, its highest point, including us. The top of our head resonates to the glory of God, the God who created us, the God who redeemed us through his son, the God who sanctifies us through his spirit. So here's what I want you to do today by the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter what happens today, no matter what kind of difficulties come, may you continue to praise him and lift your eyes skyward. Lift your eyes towards the heavens. I love what the psalmist has said. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. I'm reminded of that every time I study here in this position in our bedroom. I look at the mountains and I'm reminded that those mountains too and the trees around them all point to the glory of God, the one that made them. God made you and he didn't... Um, make you by accident. You're here for a purpose. And even this COVID-19 thing that's happening happens for a reason and purpose that we as yet don't understand. Although if you heard my sermon on Sunday, I think God is at work, maybe reawakening America for a spiritual revival. We'll see. But no matter what, our head, the trees, the mountains all come to a point to praise almighty God. May you do the very same thing today. Amen.